Okay, so uh, I want to talk about the, uh, the future of transportation. Okay, so imagine imagine all cars are basically on a uh, connected with trailer hitches, literally, and you're driving as a train. So imagine you have a a bunch of cars, a bunch of traffic, and they're using like a tiny fraction of the energy, and only one person is worriedly driving up there. The rest of the cars are connected together and so you have autopilot that your car just drives a, a, mile, a couple of miles at the most that's its range its normal range is to connect into a convoy that is going to that location and you're not driving you're not worrying ensuring uh, road rage you know driving along instead vehicles are connected now there's a paradigm in, in dimensional functionality that um, uh, cars are basically built for someone who is about five foot eight or shorter. That's much shorter than myself. And so, without that functionality, uh, there is there are cultural cop outs because some cultures esteem and, in fact, are taller. And if you cannot fit through the door, but other people can, they have like a traffic jam of uh, confusion, and confusion is bad. So so imagine you basically have these vehicles that are all the same, they're basically like a box, just like a train, that actually connect together and in that connected form they're highly aerodynamic, the rest of the time you're not going the distance, so to speak, you're just, you, everything is in that vehicle. And that vehicle is quantified uh, information-wise, where you can you can say, okay, who's who's driving down the road, you know? And then there's a slight bit of uh, randomness that is both uh, in, built into the the navigation system. So you say, oh, I'm going to that location at that time, but it's not so easy that someone can say, there he is, you know, <laughs> not quite. Not quite that perfect, but on a deeper level, much more perfect. So imagine you have a, a fil uh, sediment of filters at the top. You have all those big rocks, and that's like your daily bread or something like that. And down at the bottom, there are these little gold nuggets. These gold nuggets have to be transported to the bank, so to speak, or else they're going to be lost dust in the wind. So you have to have you have to have this. Um, Constantly pushing it along, you know. Keep moving along, keep going. Uh, 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 so, okay, so the vehicle itself, the idea is that you have something that's it's not made for to be driven, but to transport. So you have this box, and you go inside of it, and you're not driving, you're facing the inside. So it's like a train, you have your seats facing each other so people can actually talk if they don't have anything to talk about that's part of that deeper deeper quantification navigation quantification that those little gold nuggets those little kryptonite nodules that are percolating over the traffic jam of your daily bread those those are the quantification and those transported become membranes of other uh, geographic paradigms they, and this is really that's very fundamental. I, I don't know if you guys are getting a lot of this on that, this on that, you know. So this world moving along, you know, oh, you you want to be happy, but road rage is just this horrible thing, and it's the same thing as fuel consumption. I mean, the more gasoline we consume, the more, the more, uh, the more angry, <laughs> the more confused and lost we are. You know, people aren't, people can't even uh, look up like this a lot of times. It's, I see the, the, um, I see the frame of, of the vehicle if I sit up straight. Because, you know, just, that is the truth, okay? If I slouch down, you know, okay, now I can see. You can't see me. Uh, so, it's a, uh, functionality. So, I go a little deep here. Uh, I checked out my horoscope and, uh, Oh, excuse me, Rice Krispies. Uh, there's a there's a connection to uh, 
Henry Ford, and then someone said, oh, he's a Nazi, and, no, industrial, um, industrialist without the navigation, so he simply said, go out and drive, 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 everyone, now you have a car, but the destination is this very contentious reality, and it's also highly functional once you have the tech, the technology of navigation that says, okay, dial it in, and then you don't need that that sleek tank. Suddenly you can have um, more of a habitat that uh, de demand it depicts functionality, and then that that lens that bu that spherical bubble um, hardened dome, if you will, of destination. So where you are. So I, I'm mixing. I'm definitely mixing the the the, the box and the shipping process. Uh, you know how does Santa Claus know where to deliver your gifts, right? Well, if Santa Claus, you know, one man doing that, you know, yeah, do the math, and you realize, oh yeah, he's too fat to fit down the chimney. So. <laughs> You have to you have to make the chimney bigger, put a little elevator in there for Christ's sakes, you know. Uh, and that's that's the idea. Is this flow, and at the bottom is all the gold, right? We all the smoke, all the road rage is coming up the chimney, and we expect somehow someone to magically come down that chimney like a sack of gold, and uh, and be where it's supposed to be. So that's. You know, how does it fit? You know, all these, these paradigmical questions uh, that you can, um, um, that, so, the equation is that you, you manufacture vehicles that are of a single component, that are like one door, and you simply have a dozen of these doors, and you say, oh, well, that's not going to be aerodynamic or stylish. It's going to be stylish on the inside because I'm going to be there. Okay, you're going to be there. That's the style, the reflection from within that membrane of destination, that destiny moment of the vehicle that's actually functioning to to do the complete sort of uh, peaceful mission, objective, location by by box. You know, you're you're going down the chimney uh, and. And you want to fit, right? You want to fit. You don't want to like have to duck and be like, "Oh, well, uh, can you see me now?" You know. <laughs> uh, and we can all say, "Ah, when we get there." But until we get there, we're gonna be like, "Start the engine, run!" You know, driving along. Uh, you know, oh, that will liberate me. No, what will liberate you is being on a choo choo train full of uh, Christmas bunnies. <laughs> okay. That's uh that's kind of a um uh, a full scientific equation that I have to drive I have to drive it myself I have to like prime the engine and all that and roll it down the hill and uh it's out of control because there's no uh no pr there's no um prediction saying okay there's going to be someone driving through this intersection there should be a train and the train trains go like in all directions and they never hit each other because they're programmed with a loop and um so it's it's about making that dimensional so imagine the vehicle is like your chimney like your exhaust pipe right it's, it's pollution but imagine you can fit through that chimney you can bring that gold down San, you know santa claus's inferno uh <laughs> and somehow Matt wind up at the table instead that <laughs> you know, thanks a lot you know uh, this this box is basically just a the vehicle as like a train box but very lightweight uh, uh, reflecting our our weight on our destination this balancing scales and that box is a uh, that's that's kind of halfway it, and that's just the tracks in the road. So you have like uh, hardened tracks where every vehicle travels, and that just perfects it. 